Hi again, it's Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com, and I'm dehydrating one of my favorite things, strawberries, kiwi, Macintosh apples, nice and fresh and crisp, and bananas, and one of my other favorites, and a good friend of mine loves, nectarine crisps. But I wanted to show you, all these fruit can go in your one nine tray Excalibur food dehydrator and I'll show you how. Thank you very much and see me at eFoodDehydrator.com if you have any questions or give me a call at 518-618-4442 if you have any questions. I'm a reseller for Excalibur food dehydrators and I use it and I know it and food dehydration is one of my favorite things so come and see me. Hi, it's Stephanie from eFood Dehydrator here with Kiwi. I just bought this awesome load of kiwi right here and I wanted to show you how I would dehydrate it. What I did is I dried that, uh, washed and dried it thoroughly and then I peeled it. Very tricky. I would definitely recommend one of those um, uh, paring knives that are very sharp um, because kiwi is a very fragile fruit and you want to pick one that's, um, that's not too hard but is is firm and what I did is I peeled it and then I can't use my mandolin slicer in this case but look at how beautiful it looks about quarter inch thickness and what I'll do is I'll slice these up about like that and I want to get those whole as whole as possible and they look great these are going to be awesome dehydrated kiwi, and I'll be back with my results. See me at eFoodDehydrator.com. Thank you. Happy dehydrating. Hi, this is Stephanie again. This is my kiwi that I'm dehydrating. Kiwi is one of the best tasting fruit. Kiwi along with strawberries are my favorite, but this is the first time that I've ever dehydrated kiwi. And this is what it looks like. What I've done is I've sliced it on my cutting board over here, and then there's no pre-treatment that's needed for kiwi. Its own sweetness is perfect, but I wanted to show you how it looks um, spread out. I think it is such a pretty fruit. It's about a quarter inch thickness, but I did it by hand. I had this awesome paring knife, and this is from actually 1960s. It was left to my husband by his wonderful grandmother, and we use it all the time and uh, go get some kiwis and start dehydrating. Thanks. Hello. Has been and will always be my favorite food to dehydrate, the strawberry. I like them big and juicy and fresh. It's so easy to dehydrate strawberries and I also have another video on that too. This is actually the fruit that you can almost do it one-handedly. I have this awesome paring knife, and you just cut that up in about a quarter inch thickness. And these look absolutely beautiful. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a variety of different fruit, and I wanted to show you how you can put kiwi in there, nectarines, strawberries, apples, and bananas, because they're all fruit. And I wouldn't ever advise apples and onions but all these different fruits, it's so easy to do. And this is strawberries, one of my children's favorite things to eat. They like them regular. They like them dried. Just try it, and you will love it, and it's so easy to do. What you'll do is always wash your fruit, cut off the top, and then just slice it uniformly all the way down to the little nubbins. I put nubbins in there. Nubbins taste very good and uh, it'll be easy to do and you will love the results. I'll show you how they turn out in a little while. See me at eFoodDehydrator.com. Nectarines, one of my family's favorite fruits to dehydrate. So easy too. That whole tray is from one single nectarine. I washed it I sliced it up on my mandolin slicer. I'll be very careful with this, like you should too. Very easy. There's different settings. I can slide this out and put a different one on there, but I like this one. It's about an eight inch thickness. 
I like them really thin because then the kids, they're like potato chips without it being all bad for them. But nectarines are high in vitamin B and they're so great to eat. But uh, I've already dehydrated some of these and I showed you, but I wanted to show you how they look like in my whole huge dehydrator of different dehydrated foods. So I'll come back and show you the results. Thanks. Hi, it's Stephanie at eFood Dehydrator again with bananas. They're so easy to do. I get slightly green bananas and then they're really ripe and delicious inside. What I do is I like to slice them very, very thin. You can use some kind of um, egg slicer. I've tried that before, but still the best result is to use a sharp knife and get them really thin. And then they're nice and crispy. The, the thicker ones are good, but um, we like them crispy here. And I don't put any pre-treatment on there, but some people do, which I would always recommend lemon juice. But I have never really needed them, uh, so I would recommend you just put them on the tray and um, space them just about maybe a half inch apart so they're not touching, and uh, you'll love the banana crisps. I'll be back with my results. See me at efooddehydrator.com, and if you're interested in Excalibur Food Dehydrators, well, I'm the person to ask. Ask any questions, and I'll give you my opinion because I love to dehydrate food. Thank you. Oh, doesn't that look so good? Oh, these are all dehydrating at the same time. We have the apple slices, the banana crisps, the nectarine crisps, the strawberry crisps, and our kiwi crisps. And these, they've just been dehydrating for about 45 minutes to an hour or so. So I'll come back with the results. Thanks for watching. Happy dehydrating. Hi, it's Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com here featuring apple, the world's most perfect fruit, and it truly is. It's great fresh or when dehydrated. My kids like them both ways, but I love making dehydrated apple crisps. They're so easy and fast. What I do is always wash your fruit. I don't care what kind of fruit it is. And this is so easy to do, and you'll love the slices, especially when you get into the heart. And I always tell people, don't take off the skins if you don't have to. Much of the fruit's nutrients is in the skin, a lot of it's fiber. So always try to leave the skin on if possible. And this is one of those, along with your nectarines and, of course, strawberries. But the kiwi, you kind of have to always peel. But look at how great they look. These will come out nice and light and crisp. And I'll just put a little, a little right there. And then it helps it not to oxidate. And I'll come back with the results. Go buy yourself some apples and dehydrate them today. See me at eFoodDehydrator.com. This is Stephanie. Happy dehydrating. Hi, it's Stephanie from eFoodDehydrator.com. And look at this kiwi. So good. It could go on for a little longer. I like them a little crispy, and these are still a little flexible, but they look great. And then we will check on our strawberry crisps. Very nice. I'll let them cool down, too. And here's our nectarines. Which these turned out very light and crispy. Very nice. I just took them out of the dehydrator after about 10 hours in here. They turned out really good. So what I do is I let it cool here for a few moments. And here's the banana crisp. Always turn out great. And then on the bottom we have our awesome apple crisp. We'll let these dry and uh, this one up here too and we'll see how the kids like them and I'll be back shortly thanks a lot for watching see me at efooddehydrator.com bye bye